The city of Kampala is Uganda's national and commercial capital. Kampala is built on seven hills and sits right on Lake Victoria, which is the second largest freshwater lake in the world and the largest in Africa. Lake Victoria is the source of the River Nile, which flows through Sudan to Egypt and into the Mediterranean Sea. River Nile is the longest river in the world. Kampala is one of the 135 districts of Uganda. The district has a population of 1.6 million people. Kampala is the city of opportunities for all Ugandans and foreigners. It attracts people from all cultures, nationalities and walks of life. This has made it one of the fastest growing cities in the world with an annual population growth rate of 4%. Kampala is also ranked as one of the most lovely, warm cities to live in because Ugandans are some of the most friendly people in the world. The city is governed by Kampala Capital City Authority, which administers the city on behalf of the central government. Kampala Capital City Authority is a legal entity established by the Ugandan Parliament and is responsible for the operations of the city. It is led by the Lord Mayor and the Executive Director. Kampala Capital City Authority employs over a thousand people and it falls under the Ministry of Kampala Capital City Authority Affairs. The city of Kampala is divided into five administrative divisions, namely Central, Kawempe, Makinde, Nakawa, and Rubaga Division. Each division is headed by a popularly elected mayor. Kampala is an area of numerous hills and was a hunting reserve for the king of the Buganda Kingdom. This hill had many species of antelopes, especially the impalas. In the colonial days, the British colonial officials were given this hill by the king of Uganda, so they referred to it as the hill of the Impala, and the local people translated this as Akasozi Kempala in the local language, which was shortened to Kempala and then finally Kampala, and that's how the city got its name. Kampala became the capital city of Uganda after independence in October 1962. It's the home of Uganda's parliament and offices of all important government bodies and institutions. It also homes various commercial buildings, industries, businesses, and attracts many pools of Ugandans and foreigners. Both the needy and the wealthy are found in this city. The first shop in Kampala was established on present Day Luwum Street in 1903 by Aldina Vizram, an Indian trader when Uganda was still a British colony and trade has continued to grow and prosper over the years. Kampala is ranked among the world's most entrepreneurial and competitive cities. It offers plenty of advantages for local and international companies with warm, welcoming people, political and social stability, and always open for business. Government offices are open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday to Friday, closing for an hour of lunch break from 1 to 2 p.m. and private businesses work up to 7 p.m. and can open on weekends depending on the organization. Sunday is generally observed as rest day or day for prayer. Kampala's rapid growth has also led to a robust hospitality industry. Accommodation facilities are readily available, categorized as hotels, guest houses, apartments, Airbnbs, offering either budget, mid-range or luxury accommodation depending on what one requires. Kampala city has a superb culture and a very happy life that few cities in the world have. Some have branded Kampala as the city that never sleeps, where being bored is never an option. If you ever wish to pay a visit, you will make lifetime memories in this city.
Uganda has a conducive climate throughout the year. It produces a wide range of agricultural products, including a coffee, tea, cocoa, bananas, millet, maize, sorghum, sweet potato, rice, among others. Fruits and other vegetables are also in abundance. This can be bought in a local market, supermarket, or even in stores alongside the road. Uganda is dominantly an agriculture-based economy, so through Kampala City, the country exports most of her products to the rest of the world. The top exports being coffee, tea, spices, precious stones and metals, fish, bananas, dairy products, among others. Uganda's biggest importers are Italy, Germany, Kenya, South Sudan, United Arab Emirates, USA, Netherlands, among others. Transport means to get around Kampala are a car or special hire like an Uber, passenger minibus that we locally call a taxi or motorbike that we locally call Boda Boda. Kampala has crazy traffic jam mainly due to narrow roads. There is no free movement of vehicles in the rush business hours around mornings and evenings, Monday, Fridays and Saturdays. So to be able to escape this, one has to leave home very early and also leave the city centre early to avoid being stuck in traffic for many hours. We are hopeful that the government together with the Kampala Capital City Authority will work on this problem to provide a lasting solution. I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have, you know what to do. A like, a give it a thumbs up, a click on the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Share and I'll see you on the next one.